Okay, um, going back to our discussion, tuloy na ako ha, uh, we will be talking about communication. Okay. Uh, we have, in communication, we have interprofessional healthcare team. So the transcultural interprofessional healthcare team has uh, at its core the client who is the team's raison d'etre. That, that is a French word. That is a French word for reason for being. So, ibig sabihin nito, our, our um, person of concern, our, sabi nga dito, no, reason for being. Bakit ka ba naging nurse? Dahil may pasyente. Parang in a sense, ganun yun. Ang ibig sabihin nun. The Transcultural Interprofessional Healthcare Team, uh, we have uh, the client who is our reason. And in addition to the client, the team, may have one or more of the following members. We have number one is the client's family. The client's family or uh, others significant in his or her life, including a legally appointed guardian who might not be genetically related. So here, pag-uusapan lang natin, sino ba yung mga nakakapag-influence? Um, Ito yung tinatawag mamaya may makikita tayo na framework. Ito yung mga influencers. That tayo ngayon kasi merong social media influencer. Pero di here, ang clients pala, merong mga influencers na na-influence, no? na naapektuhan ang kanyang health belief because of these factors. Pakita ko na sa inyo, um, as you can see on your screens, uh, this is a framework where as you can see, this is the client. And the client is at the center. So here, we have uh, ito, yung ibig sabihin ng araw na yan. Ang ibig sabihin yan, ito yung mga influencer. So we have uh, we have influence, um, we have influencers such as folk and traditional healers. We have credentialed healthcare providers. Dito tayo nakapaloob. And the client also believes, some clients also believe uh, their healing is uh, based on their religious and spiritual healers. Now, ito namang dotted lines, dotted arrows. Ang ibig sabihin niya naman yan, communication. So, ang client being the center, meron siyang iba't ibang way of communicating with his or her influencer. So, ito yon. Ito yung communication na yon. We have verbal and nonverbal. Verbal meaning you are using words, of course. When we talk about naman non-verbal, you are not using words, but you are using greeting. Uh, you are using greeting, silence, eye contact, no, uh, gestures, posture, time. Pag sinabing time and pronemics, meron tayo tinatawag na, for example, dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, pag sinabing Filipino time, ano ba ibig sabi ng Filipino time? Late ba o maaga? Late. Late po. Uh, now late, no? Nung ako ay nasa Vietnam. Ang Vietnam kasi at the Philippines, may time difference na one hour. Mas maaga tayo ng one hour. So, for example, kung 9.47 dito, doon 8.47. The 8 for, so, ibig sabihin, kung nandun ka at ang oras mo ay Philippine time, maaga ka. Tama? Now, nung meron akong kausap noon na makita daw kami ng 2 o'clock. Eh dahil ito ay uh, may kinalaman sa aking work. So nagpunta ako doon ng mas maaga. Siyempre, Vietnam time ang sinundan ko. Um, sinundan ko yung Vietnamese time, Hanoi time, at uh, maaga pa rin ako. Tapos ang sabi nila, yung, for example, kung 2 o'clock, ano sinabi ko, 2 o'clock kami makita, dumating yung kausap ko ng 5 o'clock. At ang sabi nila, I'm sorry ma'am because this is Vietnamese time. So, ibig sabihin pala, ang Vietnamese time ay sobra silang late. So, you have to be aware of that culture na ang mga iba't ibang lahi, meron silang iba't ibang pananaw at paniniwala sa oras. Meron naman ng mga, for example, mga business people or for example, mga Chinese. no? Baka maaga silang masyado, baka one hour before the before the time, no? May, may iba't iba kasing uh, meaning sa kanila ang time. Meron naman na uh, late ka na kapag on time ka dumating. I think that is the culture of the Europeans, no? Parang late ka na kapag on time ka. Kung ang call time natin is uh, 9 o'clock, Kung ang call time natin is 9 o'clock at dumating ka ng 9 o'clock, late ka na nun. So you have to be there 
before the time. So that is uh, that is what we call chronemics. Uh, chronemics meaning a uh, chronos, no, yun time. You're talking about time. There's also what we call proxemics or distance. Ito naman, there are cultures na ayaw nila na nakikipag-usap ka ng face-to-face. -face. Okay lang sa kanila kung hindi tayo nag-eye contact. Tayo naman, yung culture natin, um, I think yung culture natin, hindi naman tayo ganun sa masyadong malapit. ba? Diba? May mga cultures, for example, sa Middle East, no? yung mga Middle Eastern na mga greetings nila, nagbebeso-beso sila kahit mga lalaki. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, yung distance nila ay very um, malapit very proximate no and then there is also what you call modesty modesty ibig sabihin yung way ng pananamit touch uh, okay lang pa sa kanila na hinahawakan or hindi technology assisted literature art music and distant uh, dance sorry so these are all communications affecting the health related values attitudes beliefs and practices of our client, our client being the center of our concern. You can also hear the client, ano, uh, nakita natin yung client, but here ka katabi or kasama sa circle ng client is the family significant other. Why? Pag ikaw ay isang, for example, ikaw ay bedside nurse, no? pansinin mo, kapag ikaw ay nag-duty, ikaw ay naka-duty, pag meron kang tinatanong, hindi naman... Uh, pwede na lang kung wala siyang kasamang bantay. But most of the time, kapag ang pasyente o ang client, client natin, ang pasyente ay nandun at meron siyang kasamang nanay or may kamag-anak siya, uh, tatanungin din niya yung mga kamag-anak niya. Mas madalas pa nga minsan na mas nakakausap mo yung bantay kesa sa pasyente. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, kaya itong circle na to, kasama nung um, nasa same circle yung client at yung family or significant other kasi pwede na ang decision ay naka hindi, sorry, ang decision nila ay iisa. Or minsan pa nga, hindi nakakapag-decide yung pasyente on her own at magtatanong pa siya sa kanyang nanay or tatay or asawa. That is why ito yon So ang context natin ay merong iba't iba. May environment, may social. So ito yung um, factors na Factors that contributes to the health-related values and attitudes, beliefs and practices of a client. And these are the influences naman. Okay. Going back. Yeah. Can somebody read this slide, please? Yeah. What is communication? Read lang. Sino babasa? What is communication? Diba, ako na po. Sige. Communication uh, derived from the Latin verb communicare, uh, meaning to share. Communication refers to the meaningful exchange of information between one or more participants. So the information exchange may be conveyed uh, through ideas, feelings, intentions, attitudes, expectations, perceptions, instructions, or commands. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Mark. So, communication derived from the Latin word, Latin verb communicare. Uh, to share communication refers to the meaningful. I like this word, no? Meaningful exchange of information. Kapag sinabi kasi natin, um, there is a meaningful exchange, ibig sabihin, meron naging resulta yung pag-uusap. Bakit meron tayong tinatawag na miscommunication? Pag sinabing miscommunication, what you are trying to convey, hindi niya na-gets nung kausap mo. That is why ang communication, meron kasing um, iba't ibang klase ng communication. For example, balik tayo nung ikaw ay elementary or yung high school, pwedeng nakasama ka sa sabayang pagbikas o kaya yung mga monologue, tama? Uh, what is the difference between uh, doing a monologue and a dialogue? Ano sa tingin nyo ang pinagkaiba ng monologue at ng dialogue? Pwera na lang uh, except sa spelling. Ano? Baka may sumagot na naman, ma'am, spelling. Ano pinagkaiba ng monologue and dialogue? Parehas siyang speech. But what is the difference? Meron ba kayong idea? Pag po monologue, isa lang po yung nagsasalita tapos dialogue po to or more. That is right, Prince Anne. Thank you. 
Okay, ang monologue, mono from the word mono, no, one. Pag sabihin, pag monologue, ikaw lang yung salita ng salita. Most of the time sa mga online classes, ganun na nangyayari, no? monologue. Si ma'am lang ang nagsasalita or si sir. But we are trying our best na maging dialogue. Pag sinabi kasing dialogue, ito na yung merong exchange. Kaya nga, maganda ang communication, mer- ang, ang result na gusto mo mangyari ay merong meaningful exchange. Na sabi mo yung gusto mong sabihin, na intindihan niya, may nagsasalita at may nakikinig. At yung nakak- nakikinig, hindi siya yung... Minsan kasi ang isang um, barriers ng communication, nagsasalita pa lang siya, tapos nag-iisip ka na kagad, ano i reply ko? Para kang may auto-reply. So, hindi nagkakaroon ng meaningful exchange. The information exchange may be conveyed through ideas, feelings, intentions, attitudes, expectations, perceptions, instructions, or command. Communication is an organized pattern system of behavior that makes all nurse client interactions possible. Paano tayong makikipag um, makoconvey? Paano natin makoconvey ang ating con- culturally congruent care kung walang communication. It is the exchange of messages and the creation of meaning. Laging merong meaning, ano? Uh, that is from uh, the definition of Munoz and Lockman of from 2008. So, this is a creation of meaning. Balikan natin dito, no? Communication refers to the meaningful exchange. Laging merong meaning. Kasi kung... Um, sinasabi natin communication pero walang nangyayaring kabuluhan. Pag sinabi kasing meaning, may kabuluhan, ano, merong kang naintindihan, merong nakaintindi. Yan. Ineffective, ito. Ineffective communication, listen to this, no, there is mutual understanding. Pag sinabing mutual understanding, you are understanding mutually. You are understanding each other. You are able to convey your message And the receiver um, is hearing you, is listening to you, and is also understanding you. There is mutual understanding of the meaning attached to the messages. Going back to our framework, no? our framework again, the client is at the center. This figure is about cross-cultural communication. Cross-cultural communication among members of the interprofessional healthcare team, meaning the client, the family, the significant others, the credentialed health professionals, and folk traditional religious and spiritual healers. So who comprises the interprofessional healthcare team? Again, who comprises the interprofessional healthcare team? Ito yon, the client, the traditional healers, the healthcare providers, hindi lang tayo. No? Hindi lang pala tayo ang kasama sa interprofessional healthcare team, kasama din pala natin yung pamilya, kasama natin kung naniniwala sila sa pastor, sa pare, sa ministro, sa uh, sa monk. Diba? Kung mapapansin nyo kung uh, madalas kayong manood ng um, for example, Grace Anatomy, merong silang mga, madalas silang merong mga episode na may kinalaman sa culture. For example, merong, uh, meron ng mamamatay tapos ayaw pa nilang gawin yung treatment na to or yung procedure na to at nagpapatawag pa sila ng um, there was a case na uh, ito pala ay naniniwala sa para siyang sa Tagalog, para siyang spiritista. So may ganon na mga culture. No? At yung mga nurses naman, para silang nagtitinginan dahil sabi nila parang para naman itong ano, uh, parang crazy kasi para maniniwala pa sa ganon. Pero dahil ganon kasi yung paniniwala niya na doon siya gagaling, before doing that procedure, dapat ipatawag muna yung ganito. So, kasama siya sa, kasama siya sa framework na to. Okay. Now, eto naman. Can somebody read this one naman? Ito maganda to. Kailangan matutunan natin ito. Ano po ma'am? Whereas language refers to what is said, para language refer refers how it is said and relates to all aspects of the voice that are not part of the verbal message. Thank you. Parang pang podcast naman yung boses ni Mariela na talagang very ano. Whereas language, sorry, masyadong uh, mayumi. Whereas language refers to what is said. Pag sinabi kasing language, ito yung... Um, 
ano yung sinasabi mo? What? No? What is said? Pag sinabi mo namang para language, how it is said. Kaya nga, di ba, meron tayong, um, meron tayong kataga or meron tayong mga sinasabi, sayings, na sabi, na sabi natin, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. For example, this one, ano? Yan. For example, this phrase. Babasahin ko siya, ya. Ang una kong basa, isang tono lang. For example, I would like to help you. I would like to help you. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, gusto ko siyang tulungan. Tama? Now, kung ilalagay ko naman yung stress dito sa I, pansinin niyo mababago, um, mababago yung tono niya. I would like to help you. Parang merong um, ibang meaning. Tama? I would like to help you. Now, if I will put the stress to, if I will put the stress on this word, I would like to help you. I would like to help you. Na iba yung meaning. I would like to help you. Kung nilagay ko naman dito sa you. Do you get me? Because language is what is said. Language, ito, no? But para language is how you said it. And para language may modify or nuance meaning or convey emotion no? through rhythm. Pitch, stress, volume, speed, hesitations, or intonation. For example, Gutom ka na? Gutom ka na? Pwede namang, gutom ka na? Gutom ka na? Iba't iba, no? So, ibig sabihin, yung iisa lang yung word, para talaga, para naman ako naging comedy na, iisa lang yung word na sinabi mo, iisa lang yung lang, iisa lang yung sentence. But because of para language, you have conveyed different meanings. You get me? So, that is what is Um, para language. And sa nakapaloob, nakapaloob sa communication class na um, you, we have to be careful of what of how we say things. Kasi pwede mong sabihin na uh, ma'am, ganito lang talaga yung boses ko or ganito po talaga kami sa bahay lagi po kami nakasigaw or ganito po kami talaga sa ganito po talaga yung um, for example, yung facial expression kasi kasama rin sa communication eh no pwede mo sabihin ma'am yung mukha ko talaga para ako lagi nang aaway pero hindi naman ako nang aaway di ba may mga ganung may mga ganung mukha ako naman minsan um, naglalakad ako tapos may makakasalubong ako ngingitian ako akala nila nakangiti ako hindi naman ako nakangiti <laughs> ganyan ganyan naman ang mga ganyan naman ang mga mukha ng mga smiling face ano akala nila lagi kang nangangiti pero hindi, hindi ko naman sila ngingitian akala nila Akala nila tuloy, natutuwa ako sa kanila. Hindi naman ako natutuwa sa kanila. Joke. <laughs> okay, next. Can somebody read this one? Nonverbal communication. Ako na lang po, ma'am. Nonverbal communication refers to how people convey meaning without words. For example, through the use of facial expressions, gestures, posture, or the body language, And the physical distance between the communicators are the proxemics. Thank you. Okay. So ito, inulit lang natin. Ano, Non-verbal communication, ano yung nakapaloob dyan? Um, this is how people convey Um, this is how people convey meaning without words. So you are using your, ito yung example ko kanina, no? facial expression. May mga tao na resting B face. No? Wala pa siyang ginagawa pero parang feeling mo, parang nang aaway. Yung mukha pa lang niya para na siyang, mukha pa lang niya para nang nanununtok. No? May mga ganyan tao. No? <laughs> Through the use of facial expression, gestures. No? Meron na, uh, anong, Diba yung mga, for example, pag nanood ka ng mga telenovela, ng mga Spanish, no? mahilig sila sa mga, ano, I love you. Yung mga ginagawa, yung mga ginagawa ano, nag-gesture pa sila. No? Yung, ng Italian, kapag sinabi nilang masarap, no? delicious, talagang ginagamit nila yung kanilang mga kamay. So may mga ganyan na mga culture na they are using their gestures. Meron naman ang mga, Japanese no culture nila na kailangan dahil sila ay magalang masyado dapat sila yung huli na magbabaw down. So I have a professor na Japanese tapos meron siyang nakita namin, meron siyang ka-meeting um, for siguro 30 seconds or one minute. Ano sila? 
no joke at totoo to. Ano sila, ano uh, yung nagbabaw down sila parehas. Kasi nga, ayaw nila na sila yung, sila yung, hindi sila yung huli. So, wala nang, wala nang natapos. Ano, ano na lang sila, yuko na lang sila ng yuko. Kasi nga, gusto nila na sila yung huli. So, ganun yung gesture nila. Um, pinapakita nila that they want to, they want to show, um, they want to show their gratitude. So, good morning. So, pag sila yung na good morning, talagang ano, No joke yun ano. Natuwa kami doon kasi wala nang nagpa wala nang nagpaubaya ano. Posture, body language and the physical distance between the communicators. Aspects of communication that are of particular importance for the TCN that is you include language, the use of interpreters, greetings, silence. Um sometimes the best um sometimes the best uh, communications communication sometimes no not all the time sometimes the best communication pala is silence that you you just have to be there with your client or with your patient without you telling anything minsan kasi masyado naman tayong maraming sinasabi na hindi na pala nakakatulong pero the mere presence no yung the fact that you are there with your client especially if that client is ano na no nag-aagaw buhay or nasa um, last hours na pala niya, uh, the nurse being uh, the the contact person there and maybe no, kung bibigyan ka niya ng pagkakataon that you held his or her hand, your silence or your presence is very much important. Eye contact and facial expressions, gestures, posture, um, chronemics, proxemics. Itong um, facial expression, I also remember Uh, I'm not sure kung block nyo yun yung nasabi ko na uh, we, I was supposed to go to I was supposed to go to a trip to Egypt. So nag ano na kami, naka may visa na ako, nag ano na kami, nag my, my parents kasi they are both um, pastors and they are also missionaries. Kaya nakakapunta rin kami sa iba't ibang bansa. And we have um we have a project na pupunta kami dapat ng Egypt. So na kumpleto ko na lahat ng visa, lahat ng ginaganyan blah blah blah. But sabi ng isa kong kaibigan na galing um Dubai, sabi niya na ko Roms, uh, masyado ko pa namang palangit eh, baka akala ng mga Arabo doon, baka akala ng mga Egyptian doon gusto mo sila kasi kapag pala ikaw ay ngumiti or baka yung itsura mo ay lagi ka masyadong nakangit eh, baka akala nila you are inviting them. parang sa kanila kasi um kaya nga di ba naka naka cover ang kanilang mga face pero kapag ikaw ay turista syempre hindi ka naman obligado pero dahil ikaw baka pag nangitian mo lang sila akala nila uh, iniimbitahan mo na sila or you are insinuating something kaya sabi niya Roms parang hindi ka <laughs> parang hindi ka kaabi doon baka akala nila yung naghahanap ka ng boyfriend palagi so hindi siya natuloy dahil hindi hindi will ni Lord at ayaw din ni Mother dahil pero kompleto na yung ano ko diyan ah may mga ganyan na ako may mga kailangan na suot doon kasi ay hindi nakikita ang iyong balot na balot ang iyong dibdib at hanggang iyong um mahaba yung damit hanggang kuitan kailangan um mahaba so hindi pwede doon yung mga crop top no So that is um, modesty and that is facial expressions. That is also an aspect of communication. I have here a table kasi maybe there will be a time that you will be uh, needing interpreter. Nasabi ko sa inyo kanina, no, itong concept na pinag-aaralan natin, this is not a concept na for everyday use. Kasi hindi naman everyday maghahanap ka ng interpreter, hindi naman everyday ay meron kang ma-encounter ma- na cross-cultural client. But when that time comes, I hope that we are kahit ano kahit pa paano ano we are prepared enough so what do we do when there is no interpreter i have highlighted some things na i think um most beneficial for us but number one here is to be polite and to be formal no to be polite and to be formal and here i highlighted i highlighted it here can somebody read this one ito yung highlighted na yellow para mas maintindihan natin. 
Ma'am, ako na lang po. Sige. Speak in low, moderate voice. Avoid talking loudly. There is often a tendency to raise the volume and pitch of your voice not to understand. But this may lead the listener to perceive that the nurse is shouting and or angry. Okay. Yeah, nakapakin naka nakapanood na ba kayo ng palabas na hindi sila nagkakaintindihan at ang ginagawa ng artista or ginagawa ng character doon uh, nilalakasan niya yung boses niya. For example, house, eat, di ba? Akala natin kapag um, nilalakasan natin yung boses natin na naiintindihan na ng kausap natin. Kaya nga dito, pinaalala, you, ha- you still have to speak in a low, moderate voice you avoid talking loudly kasi it doesn't mean that you talk louder na naiintindihan ka ng tao. Hindi nga niya maintindihan kahit na anong lakas ng boses mo. There is often a tendency to raise the volume, the pitch. No? Sina- nilalakasan pa natin, tinataasan pa natin. When the listener appears to not understand, but this may lead the listener to perceive that you, nurse, is shouting or angry. Akala nila... Um, inaaway mo sila dahil nagtataas ka ng boses. So, do you get me? And then here, next one. Can somebody read this one? Yan, ito. Very, ano din ito. Mahalaga. Ako po, ma'am. Give instructions in the proper sequence. For example, do not say before you rinse the bottle, sterilize it. Do say, first, wash the bottle. Second, rinse the bottle. Thank you, Mel. So, ang ano lang nito, ang concept lang nito ay um, when you give instructions one by one, wag mong pagsasamahin. Kasi dito, for example, ano, yung pagkakasabi, bago mo, uh, bago mo hugasan, sterilize mo muna. Ngayon, baka malito kasi yung pasyente natin. Especially, for example, napunta ka sa isang area na hindi naman lahat ng nandon ay educated. Hindi naman lahat doon ay um, nakakapagbasa or nakaka, nakakapag-English. No? Uh, mas, uh, mas effective kung sasabihin natin ng step by step. No? Uh, here, ito, mga practical na mga um, practical na mga strategies and techniques for us to do our jobs better. Kung papansinin mo, no, parang ma'am, parang napakarami naman nating kailangan gawin. Kailangan ko palang mag-aral ng language, kailangan ko pang mag-aral ng, ng culture. That is the, ano kasi, no, ang sakop ng nursing, ang lawak ng sakop ng nursing, especially if you are desiring to go abroad, marami ka talagang may encounter na iba't ibang mga lahi. So, dito, ang essence lang nito is to give instructions one by one, especially kung alam mo na that your client or your patient is uh, not the same level or educational level as you have. Kasi pansinin mo din, ikaw, ang tagal mong nag-aaral, pinag-aralan mo tong ano na to, tapos huwag kang maiinis kung hindi nila nag-gets ng one time. Kaya nga meron din tayong tinatawag na, if you remember, yung therapeutic communication, yung paraphrasing din, na, or sorry, uh, tama ba? yung you let them repeat the you let them repeat the instructions or the words uh, ipapa-repeat mo yung mga sinabi mo for you to check kung naalala nila or na nagets talaga nila okay so let us go to a culturally competent nursing care no culturally competent nursing care in many parts of the world there is growing awareness of social injustice when we talk about social injustice ano ba ibig sabihin ng social injustice social injustice is also the way uh, unjust actions are done in the society would you agree with me that that life is unfair tama ba life is unfair or oh, life is fair for you Kasi kung may kung privilege, no, meron tayong tinatawag na mga privilege, meron tayong mga tinatawag na underprivilege or unprivilege. Uh, there is what we call social injustice in our world. That is why I I encourage you kanina, no, ini-encourage ko kayo na manood din kayo ng mga news around the world, especially kasi sa TCN natin, you are hindi ko naman kayo nire-record but I am um, encouraging you na at least alam mo kung anong nangyayari sa mundo. wag lang sa mundo ng showbiz. 
No, I have here some pictures that depicted um, social injustice, social injustices in our society recently. So here is a picture of uh, a woman who has been uh, murdered, no. And because of this, ito yung campaign na naging very, very ano din, ano, very important and very nakita nila historical. So this is the campaign of Black Lives Matter because as we have um, read in the news, you know, and we have, um, <clears throat> buti nga ngayon, we have, sorry, we have internet, we have the technology. Alam na natin, ay, may nangyayari pala sa Afghanistan, may nangyayari pala sa Israel, may nangyayari pala sa China. May nangyayari palang flood sa ganito, sa ganyan. So here, itong Black Lives Matter, hindi ito nagtapos sa Black Lives Matter. Pumunta pa siya, nag-transform pa siya, naging Asian Lives Matter, right? Ito naman, na recently rin, merong nabalita na merong isang Filipino na woman, isang Asian woman sa States, America, that she was harassed, no physically harassed, because she was Asian. So nakikita nyo, there is... Um, there is a social injustice in our world. There, there's also the poverty around us. No, not everyone is privileged enough to be eating um, six times a day like we are. No, hindi lahat ay nabibigyan ng access, good access to water. Uh, not every one of us is given um, given yung the privilege of using um, technology, internet. Baka walang way magwa wifi pa ba sila wala na nga silang makain so there are social injustices na i want you to be um, aware no isang transcultural nurse na characteristic ng isang TCN is that you are aware of what is happening around the world um especially sa ating local system ano dito naman sa ating local system marami ang bakit nagkakaroon ng aus to terte last time because of ano na nga yan, um extrajudicial killings right marami ang mga marami ang mga nag nagapila sa ating sa ating pangulong Duterte dahil meron daw sinasabi na para na siyang nagiging tira tirano so no para na siyang uh, nagiging tyranny na yung nagiging martial na nagiging military na. So, there are what we call vulnerable populations. Yan. So, can somebody read this one? Itong slide na to. What do we... um What are the vulnerable populations? Yan. Ako na lang po, ma'am. Sige, thank you. Vulnerable populations are groups that are poorly integrated into the healthcare system because of ethnic, cultural, economic, geographic, rural, and urban settings or health characteristics such as disabilities or multiple chronic conditions. Okay, thank you, Jai. Okay, so kanina nakita natin na no, there are uh, vulnerable populations. Okay. I have five minutes. Uh, I-end ko to tapos balik tayo kagad para ano. I still have five more slides. Tatapusin na natin. Uh, end ko muna to guys. Tapos balik tayo kagad. And discuss natin yung vulnerable populations. Thank you. Okay po ma.